trustee. Sheriff Joe used to look at cashier's office, correct, sir? Yes, sir. And I know we talked about this briefly earlier. Uh, cameras there at the Lafay County Detention Center uh, are, are handled in such a way as they don't preserve uh, all the limit for a limited time they preserve the minutes that happen. Is that the correct statement? Yes, sir. That, and at some point it starts riding back over them. So, it's so going to have to have new media or something that just keeps going. What's that time period? Seven days. Seven, after seven days, it starts again on the like maybe off, but it starts again on the next time. It's just cool it out. But that's what it's not, it's not preserved, posted, and whatnot. And then that seven day period of time, that, that information is gone. That's correct. That's correct. What do you know about the uh, 28 day of uh, December 2020? Uh, your, your officers account of uh, Matthew Beard and uh, the Sheriff's Department. Uh, which incident we talked about? We've been up there numerous times. Well, so out, I don't know. out in front where, where, where Deputy Dixon had to, had to arrest the physical restraint. That, that particular Yes. Uh, on that particular day, uh, so it was okay for me to go back a little bit. I had received some emails from, from Matt. I think I provided them to you earlier when we first started this probably a year ago, whenever I was on this process again. I got an email from him earlier that day. He, he wanted to discuss something. I got to follow all the details. I, I get emails from him quite often, usually on a weekly or, or every two week basis. So later that day, uh, I got a second email from him. He wanted to see me. Uh, I came to the office. I didn't get back to the office probably five, five thirty. I don't even know when it happened. I ended up in Chantry Court. Uh, what I thought was, was strange is that based on the two emails, I hadn't read the third one. I, I was under the opinion that that Matt was there looking for me based off the two emails that I had read. So that's the reason I stayed stopped at the back of my truck. His car was parked directly to the right of me, facing Jackson. When I came back out, he had backed in and positioned himself right next to my vehicle. Uh, it was obvious that uh, Officer Deputy Dixon asked him to leave, asked him to move, uh, which is customary. You know, hey, would, you, would you mind moving your car? And uh, of course, he refused. Uh, he told him he was going to arrest him, which he did. Uh, doesn't seem like, uh, can't say that Matt came looking for a fight and, and wanted to instigate something, and, and he, he did. Yeah. Uh, as I pulled in, I noticed that uh, Matt's car was a little black hatchback like car was parked over facing Jackson Avenue. And uh, so I pulled in, I got out of my truck, went to the back of it, and stood there. I, I was assuming he probably wanted to see me because he'd sit in a couple of minutes. Uh, stood there for a few seconds. Uh, Matt never got out. Usually he's there waiting on me if I come. So I went in and go inside, got in my office. And as I was sitting down, I heard a high pitched scream. Uh, I actually assumed that it was someone being assaulted, a female being assaulted outside. Because we started the safe side. When I was emailing you, uh, you were calling to get me out of this family situation. I brought a copy, I think, you know, I've seen it now, but I, I don't know what it's about. But usually, Matt, I, I don't know what it's about. Matt's come see me numerous times, it's usually Matt believes that, that he has been done all through the history of his uh, several years, yes sir, from uh, being arrested to, so he, he kind of goes back and forth and everything. I guess he does talk about criminal stuff and horses and then he'll go on to the criminal side where he's arrested. So without reading, I don't know exactly what he's had back there. That's fair enough. Um, I'm sure if he's, if he's seen the video. I have, but let's, I want to go back and look at it. You pull me in and make sure we all understand uh, look at it while you tell us this is me and this is what I got here, this is what I did. Now, these, if you look at the screen, there's one, two, three, four non handicapped spots. Are those all reserved? Correct. Um, and what did the sign specifically say? I don't have a picture of the chairs. Maybe I'm not sure Deputy Dixon put it in his report. Did they say it reserved for Sheriff's DPT to your head? Reserved for Sheriff's Department. Does that sound right? I would agree with that. It is the one on the. Oh, well, here we go. The one on the end says reserved for Sheriff's Department. Is that your vehicle, I guess? 
and that's at 245, 246-ish in the city. <clears throat> Is that you getting out of that vehicle, Sheriff? Yes. I guess. I ain't seen that. Alright, and you walk to the park to the uh, Yes sir. I hesitated there, saw his car and instead of walking back out I, I, I just figured I stood there for a second and then I went inside. Yes sir. Okay. We've got the safe space. Uh, we're dropping off kids from custody. Uh, if I sell a bicycle on Facebook, I can say let's be the sheriff's problem parking lot. Right? All right. So that sign uh, is pretty clear. If you're there for safe space, go walk. All right. We've got somebody visiting the jail. Hey, I'm visiting the jail. I'm, I'm here for jail business. That sign's pretty clear. If you're not there, go park there if you're there for the jail. Um, but couldn't somebody see that sign that says Sheriff's Department only and think, hey, if I'm here for the Sheriff's Department, this is where I'm supposed to park. I know, but I don't think that was, part, that was the Sheriff's Department. You mean the only Sheriff's Department vehicle should park here? That's exactly how it's official vehicle zone. That's exactly how it's designed. That's not what the sign said. Well, it's just been made to uh, ask a question of your deputies about the, the authority of parent, uh, assuming <clears throat> that however you want to uh, say it about you placing parking prohibitions in front of the sheriff's park. But what the authority that you have for, for that service is what? That's a county property, and although it's open and appropriate, it's my interpretation that I have the right to limit parking, especially on a private property, but ours is a county property. I have no right to say, hey, these are reserved for us. Otherwise, you know, on visiting days, it could be we would have nowhere to park to conduct business. Okay. Not so, so and easy. in fact, when I got back after the arrest, I got back in and he had, he had sent a third email that I, that I opened once I got inside, pretty demanding, like, if you don't come out, I'll have to come look for you type of deals. Come out. Yeah, basically, if you won't respond to me, I'm gonna come up there and wait you out type deal. I don't know the exact wording, but it was like, he can't look at you. I had responded to him in the appropriate manner that he thought I should have, so he, he was gonna come up there and, and wait me out or, or stand out there. Can you just come out and talk to him? I'll move when I, when I talk to Joey. When Joey wants to talk to me, I'll move. Otherwise, I'm not breaking any law just for parking in a spot that says reserved for the Sheriff's Department. I'm time. here at the Sheriff's move. Department. Move. You will go to jail disorder. I'm not being disordered. Okay. I'm, go I'm, I'm moving my car! I'm moving my car! I was moving my car! Ah! Really? Ah! I found me to my car! Oh! Stop! Stop! Matt believes that, that he has been done wrong through the history of his time. Uh, several years, yes sir, from uh, being arrested to, so he, he kind of goes back and forth to different things. Yes, he does talk about criminal stuff and horses and then he'll go into the criminal side where he's been arrested. So, Without reading the email, I don't know exactly what it was. That's, that's fair enough. That's fair enough. Um, during those times with Matt, um, you know, had you ever been, I mean, intimidated that he was going to hurt you or anything like that? Um, or, or, but basically, did you expect him to try to jump in that parking lot that day when you saw his video? What I have found about Matt Reardon is he's unpredictable and he seems to be getting worse as time goes on. He seems to be believing, in my opinion, uh, a conspiracy theory that only he believes. So I would take that as a correction because I not think he's a stable person, anyone that has pled guilty to a crime and believes that it was orchestrated does not make good sense to me. Um, so, uh, yeah, I, I think he's a threat. I think he's a threat to anybody that disagrees with him. And, but at this point in time, what happened that day was he was standing in the corner of his car talking toward me and wouldn't 
was called. Is that right? No, sir. That, that he came looking for me. Right. He, he was talking. He came before. looking to the sheriff to address him because of whatever agitation he was at that time. So, yeah, I would think he would be a threat. He was prepared for that threat if that happened. He wasn't arrested for threatening the sheriff. He was arrested because he did not leave when he was asked to for disorderly conduct, disobeying a direct order from a law enforcement officer, which also goes to show someone's ability not to comply and not a mental status. Most people leave when they're asked to leave or move. 